Mr. Wonderful thinks it's worthless. Well, I, I he actually, called it garbage I, I this want morning. To explore the, I, yeah, I did say that. <laughs> I want to explore the idea that there is nothing here except raw speculation. Mm -hmm. No different than when I go to Las Vegas and put my money on black or red on a roulette wheel because where is the intrinsic value inherent in deploying real capital, let's talk real mm -hmm. money here, and putting it into Bitcoin as a storage of value? I get gold for 2,000 years, including the Romans. They saw value in, in, in owning that as an asset class. Tell me why this, which is basically a digital um, game, mm -hmm. that's the way I look at it, has any intrinsic value. When people actually put real money into this, they make no interest, they can't pay their taxes with it, the regulators don't like it, which is always a problem for compliance. And where's the long-term value? Just this, this idea that they're going to cut the number of units in half? Such a, such a scam. Every time I go anywhere to talk about crypto, I get that piece of video shoved up my you-know-what. Now, I just want to say something here to defend myself. When things change, I change. I live this every day. I service institutions and sovereign funds, pension plans in the indexing business that I'm a partner in. And well, here's what they tell me. And you can debate this till the cows come home, but I've come to believe it, which is really what's turned me around on my crypto portfolio. I own a lot more than Bitcoin today. They want to play in crypto. And the only thing that's keeping them out, whether it be Bitcoin or stable coins or tokens or whatever it is, is they have no compliance infrastructure. So here's how it goes. They go to their committees and say, look, I want to put on a three to 5% weighting and a, a set of different crypto assets. Are you guys okay? Now, most of us that deal in stocks and bonds, and I certainly do, I have an infrastructure that marks to market my holdings by the second. My internal compliance sees it. They give it to the independent auditors every week. They audit every month and we issue our compliance to the regulator as we have to in our different mandates. There is no infrastructure yet today to do that institutionally in crypto. And that's why, and just let's talk Bitcoin. I believe, I really believe this, that there's a trillion dollars worth of buying if we could provide two things to the institutional buyer. Solve the ESG problem on the mining and award of coins. For example, that's become a big issue. Everybody knows about it. It was a two, Bitcoin 2021, it was a huge deal. And I'll tell you something really funny about that conference that I haven't disclosed to a lot of people. In that audience, because I was, you know, pat that panel, I was the chair of that panel, and we were talking about how these giant miners are going to solve the problem. I look into the audience with sunglasses on and baseball caps pulled over their faces are all the institutional clients that I service, the big guys. They were there, but they didn't want to be seen there. They didn't want to be known to be there. They're walking around with plastic bags, listening to this stuff because they want to come into that market and they can't do it yet. So we got to solve ESG and we got to solve the compliance platform. Here's the game plan. Here's what's going to happen. This is my speculation, but I'm actually acting on it with capital. So this debate around uh, trying to segregate coins, uh, one a dirty coin mined in China versus a clean coin mined in Texas or whatever, that's not going to happen. Bitcoin has to be fungible. It doesn't matter. But there's still 30 years of mining, 40 years of mining left to do. Here's what I think is going to happen. Here's how I'm betting my capital on it. If I can invest, let's say in West Texas, okay, and I can keep every coin I'm awarded having been mined there with certainty with solar and with wind, all right, and every one of those coins has provenance from that one facility, that node that was built there, why isn't that a solution for me as an institution? Okay, because the minute I disclose I had 3%, all my institutional clients called me saying, where'd the coin come from? How do you know with certainty that would that, that would pass our ESG committees? And by the way, is any of that, you know, the indexes we license from you? And I said, no, 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 no. This is my operating company. These are not in your indices. And so that was, you know, I was scared. I was pretty scared shitless when that was happening because I can't get these guys non-compliant. Then I started talking to them saying, what if you came in with me, we set up our own stacks, we hire management to do it, and we mine our own coin. And based on how much you put up towards the CapEx, let's say it's going to cost $500 million, which it is, you'll own those coins on a prorated basis. That's what I'm going to do. That's coming to a theater near you. That's exactly what I'm working on now. And I'm getting lots of institutional interest in it. Most of the people I talk to, that whether they you know, are speculating or not, uh, want to establish compliance with their own groups at the institutional sovereign level with Bitcoin first. 
They're, they're, they're wrangling for 1% to 3%. I have this dialogue every day. They want to get through this whole ESG thing. We talked about that already. They want the compliance platform to mark to market for their internal accounting and internal compliance and external mark to market when there's capital gains involved or not. Most of these guys, which I got to tell you is interesting, they're not considering it a currency. They're considering it a property. They're going to buy it, check the box on the ESG thing when they get a way to do it, which means they may have to mine their own, and then hold it in perpetuity just like they do, as Peter suggested, with gold. They have made that allocation. If they were 5% weighted in bullion, maybe they're paying storage, maybe they're using an EFT like uh, GLD, whatever, but they want to own Bitcoin. So if you're putting my gun to my head, I would go long Bitcoin for the next 36 months. I think it'll <laughs> beat the indices. I think you'll do better than 7 or 8% on it. Yes, it's going to be volatile, but I keep telling everybody, and I said it at Bitcoin 2021, when we solve it for them on compliance and ESG, Katie, bar the doors. We're talking about a trillion dollars worth of buying power. You want to see Bitcoin at 100,000? That's how it's going to happen. <laughs>